everyone, we're going to find the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x divided by x. And I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, equation 1, refer to this as equation 1. We want to uh, set it up like this if we can and rewrite this equation to make it easier to find the limit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my equation as x approaches 0 of sine of 3x divided by x. And now what I'm going to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3. Okay, so I multiply the numerator and denominator by 3, and then I'm going to pull this 3 right here out in front. So we have 3 times the limit as, and I'm going to go ahead and write 3x approaches uh, 0 because that's my denominator here. Okay, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to let theta equal 3x. So if I let theta equal 3x, I now have 3 times the limit of theta approaching 0 of sine of theta divided by theta. Now, by equation 1, this equals 1. So we have 3 times 1, which equals 3. Now, I have a similar problem I put on this uh, uh, video uh, for this one. It's a little different. So, for example, like we did in the previous problem, if we let theta equal 7x, then this problem is going to equal 1. So that's what my goal is here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and write this as um, the limit as x approaches 0 sine of 7x uh, divided by 4x. And I'm going to multiply the numerator the denominator by 7. Okay. Now, um, to rewrite this, I'm going to, um, you know, 7 times 4 is 28. So I'm going to do is pull these two out. So I'm going to get 7 fourths times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x, 7x, sorry. And then I'm going to sign uh, 7 times x here, 7x. So I just switched the, the numbers here. Now, if I let theta equal 7x like we get we did here, we know this equals 1. So we have 7 fourths times 1, and the answer is 7 fourths. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.